Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take multiple problems from a Stanford Mass Tournament from 2022. These are from algebra test. Let's see how we are going to solve multiple of these problems. The first problem that I'm going to solve is problem number one of this tournament. Here we have an expression. It starts with 5 plus radical 6 over radical 2 plus radical 3 and so on and so forth as you are seeing here. We are going to evaluate this expression and remember we don't have any calculator in this tournament. Let's see how we are going to solve this. To solve this, I'm going to start from the first step. I have 5 plus radical 6 over radical 2 plus radical 3. I'm going to simplify this fraction. To do this, I'm going to multiply both top and bottom of this fraction by radical 3 minus radical 2. But first, let me rewrite what I have for the denominator. Instead of having radical 2 plus radical 3, I'm going to write it as radical 3 plus radical 2. Now let's multiply both sides or both top and bottom of this fraction by radical 3 minus radical 2. If I do this, then for the bottom I'm going to have 1, but for the top I'm going to have 5 plus radical 6 times radical 3 minus radical 2. Now I'm going to simplify it a little bit. I'm going to end up with 5 times radical 3 minus 5 times radical 2 plus radical 6 times 3 minus radical 6 times 2. Now let's see how we are going to simplify this expression that we have. First of all, I'm going to write radical 6 times 3 as radical 2 times 3 times 3. Obviously, I can take out 3 here and then I will end up with 3 times radical 2. I'm going to use the same approach but this time for radical 6 times 2. I'm going to take out 2 and then I will have 2 radical 3. Remember, I have a negative sign here. Now, considering everything, I can simplify it even further. I have 5 radical 3 minus 2 radical 3. It's going to be 3 radical 3. And then I have negative 5 radical 2 plus 3 radical 2. It's going to be negative 2 radical 2. So let's take a look at what we have here. We will end up with 3 radical 3 minus 2 radical 2. And remember, in the denominator of the fraction, we had radical 3 plus radical 2. So maybe we are going to see a pattern here. Let's take a look at the pattern a little bit further. To find the pattern, I'm going to do some tricks here. Let's focus on the second term in the whole expression. We have 7 plus radical 12 over radical 3 plus radical 4. I have 3 and 4. I have 7 and 12. Obviously, the first one, which is 7, is sum of 3 plus 4. And then 12 is the multiplication of 3 and 4. So maybe if I start with A and B, I can simplify it a little bit further. I'm going to start with radical a plus radical b for the denominator and then I'm going to have a plus b plus radical a b for the denominator. Now note that here b is going to be a plus 1. This is happening for all the terms that I have in the original expression. Let's focus on this now. Similar to what I saw before, I'm going to rewrite radical A plus radical B as radical B plus radical A and then multiply top and bottom of this fraction by radical B minus radical A. Again, the denominator of the whole thing is going to be 1 because I'm going to end up with B minus A which is 1. For the denominator, I need to simplify it a little bit further. Let's do that now. We have a plus b plus radical ab. That's the first step. And then we have radical b minus radical a. So I'm going to start with a times radical b minus a times radical a plus b times radical b minus b times radical a. 
then I need to do for the second term, which is radical AB. I will have radical AB times radical B is going to be B radical A, and then I will have radical AB times radical A, which is going to be A radical B. Remember, we have negative sign here, and now we are ready to simplify it. Similarly, I'm going to start with B minus A is going to be 1. So I remove that. Then I will have minus A radical B and plus A radical B. Let's remove those. I also have B radical A and negative B radical A. So let's remove those two. And then at the end, I will have B radical B minus A radical A. This is nice. Now let's see how we are going to continue with what we have now. So based on what we have now, we can say the first term in this expression is going to be 3 times radical 3 minus 2 times radical 2. For the second term in this expression, I'm going to have 4 times radical 4 minus 3 times radical 3 and so on and so forth. For the final one, I'm going to have 32 times radical 32 minus 31 times radical 31. Obviously, I have 3 times radical 3 plus minus here, so I'm going to remove those. And if you pay attention carefully, you are going to see that at the end, I will have 32 times radical 32 minus 2 times radical 2. And if I want to simplify it a little bit further, I can write... 32 as 2 to the power of 5 and then take out 2 to the power of 4 after radical is going to be 2 to the power of 2 and then I will have 1 radical 2 inside and considering everything I'm going to end up with 126 times radical 2 and that's our final answer now let's focus on the second problem this is going to be problem number 2 of this tournament I have find the sum of the solutions x to the equation that we have here. So basically, we need to find all solutions and then add together. Let's see how we are going to solve this now. There is a beautiful trick that I'm going to use here. Let's focus on radical 2022 plus x. I'm going to start with using a new variable like y. So first of all, I'm going to define y as radical 2022 plus y. And then I have what you are seeing here as x. Let's take a look at what I have here. There is something nice about these two equations. I'm going to claim that these two equations have the same answer. Let's see how it works. Basically, let's assume that I know the answer of the first equation. It's going to be y. I have y equals to radical 2022 plus y. If I know the answer, I can replace y with that answer. But I can use exactly the same equation because that holds true. So I'm going to use radical 2022 plus y instead of y. Replacing that I'm going to end up with y is equal to radical 2022 plus radical 2022 plus y. Now let's take a look at what I have for y and x. They are exactly the same, right? So I'm going to claim that y and x are going to have the same answers. This is really, really beautiful because instead of solving x equals to radical 2022 plus radical 2022 plus x, I'm going to solve y equals to radical 2022 plus y. Obviously, the first, which is basically y equals to radical 2022 plus y, is simpler than the second. Let's see how we are going to solve it now. Focusing on y equals to radical 2022 plus y, I can take power of 2 of both sides. y2 is going to be 2022 plus y, and this is a quadratic equation. 
The solution is going to be positive and negative and obviously y should be positive because it's the answer of a radical. At the end, I will have y equals to 1 plus radical 8089 over 2 and I only have one solution so some of them is going to be the one that I have here and that concludes the answer. Now let's focus on the third problem. It's going to be problem number three of the tournament. We want to compute the expression that you are seeing here. This expression is a fraction and at the end I need to find the integer part of it. The thing that you are seeing here is the floor function. So basically I'm going to look for the integer part of the expression that you are seeing here. Remember I don't have access to any calculator for this tournament, at least for this question. Because of that, I'm going to try to find a simplification that I can simply use instead of the whole expression that you are seeing here. Usually in this kind of problems, you will find a term inside this expression that you can just replicate. Let's just start with the first step. I have 1 over 2022. For the second one, I have 1 over 2023 and so on and so forth. I'm going to start with one fact. 1 over 2022 is bigger than 1 over 2023 and that guy is going to be bigger than everything else that I have in this expression which is nice so instead of having 1 over 2022 plus 1 over 2023 plus everything that you are seeing here I'm going to just use 1 over 2022 plus 1 over 2022 plus and so on and so forth but if I replace everything with 1 over 2022, then I'm not going to have equality here. It's going to be an inequality. And let's see how we are going to find that now. As I said, it's going to be an inequality and the inequality is going to be less than because every term that I have here is going to be less than 1 over 2022. How many terms that I have? I have 43. So. The whole expression is going to be less than 43 times 1 over 2022. But remember, I have the inverse of this expression. So let's do that now. It's going to be the expression is bigger than 2022 over 43. Note that I reversed the inequality part because when you take the inverse of both sides, you need to inverse the uh, greater or less than sign that you have here. So 2022 over 43 is going to be 47 and a fraction. Now let's move on and see what we can do with the rest. For the rest, I think you know that what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the smallest step, which is the last step. I'm going to say 1 over 2000. 64 is less than 1 over 2022, less than 1 over 2023, and so on and so forth. So instead of having all these terms, I'm going to replace everything with 1 over 2064, and I have 43 of them. The whole expression is going to be greater than this value that I have here. Now I need to inverse both terms and then I will have the expression is less than 2064 over 43, which is 48. So at the end, I have the expression that I was interested in between two values. It's greater than 47 and a fraction and it's less than 48. Obviously, the integer part of it is going to be 47 and we found the answer here. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content that I have in this video. I tried to solve three problems in a single video to show you how you approach different type of problems that you have here. Some of these problems were